hope everybody is uh, safe in these very, very emotionally and financial trying times. And what we're going to be doing today is uh, shown in the title here, Survive and Thrive. And I'm going to show you how to find some market opportunities. Uh, but before we do that, I'm sure this is kind of a moot uh, caveat slide. Uh, there's a risk of loss of trading in pretty much all markets. And uh, for those who want to read this whole thing, you can just go to this link here at candlecharts.com backslash disclosure. So what we're going to be doing in this short session, give you a little overview, I'm going to go over an analysis of the major markets. I'll be looking at, uh, for example, the S&P, the Dow, the NASDAQ crude, uh, a currency or two, um, et cetera. And I'll be showing you, you know, some key levels to look out for. And the idea is um, that uh, you could use some of these strategies, in other words, the candles, to help in your own trading, trading and investing. Uh, and then I'll turn it over to Paul for a little bit to tell you about some of the great tools we have to help you immediately find opportunities because there are going to be some if there aren't now out there. And then uh, after Paul reveals some of these tools, I'm going to show you a, a, a real world example of how I use education and trading strategies in the last big major decline that we had back in 2008 and 2009. But first, let me start, as promised, with uh, some markets here. Let me just make sure everybody could see it. There we go. Okay. All right. So, um, and for those of you who are members of mycalendarcharts.com, that is our member site, you know we do these markets and more each day. Uh, and we also take markets of your choice. Uh, Paul will be talking a little bit more about that during the session. So let me first start. Uh, we happen to have the NASDAQ aren't here, so we'll start with that. Now, for those not familiar with what I look at, I, uh, for a longer term trend, I look at a 20 and a 50 day moving average. The blue line is a 20 day moving average, and the red line is a 50 day moving average. And while they're good, you know, for longer term, the problem is like most Western indicators are lagging indicators. Uh, so by the time you got the bearish cross over here with the Japanese call it dead cross. When you have a short-term crossing, long-term moving average, they call that a dead cross. Uh, it's over here. We actually got a little earlier signal with the candles with this falling window. So you had a few days notice, you know, look at this. By the time you got the signal, uh, the Dow is here at around 28.5. By the time you got the crossover, it was down at 25,000. Now, in this case, doesn't mean you go short, but candles are great and letting you know when to lighten up on positions. So let me go over current uh, the current market. Obviously, the short-term trend is down. One of the great things about candles, for those who are new, you could use all Western indicators. So you know we could use falling uh, uh, a channel. The market's obviously in a bear channel here. Now, for those familiar with the basics of candles, this is a bullish engulfing pattern, green wrapping around the red. And while that is theoretically and definitionally, if that's such a word, a bullish engulfing pattern. When you learn more about the candles, when you get more in depth, and that's what our education is, because yes, you can go online and see what a bullish engulfing pattern is, but the goal is to know what to do with that pattern and the nuances. The problem, I shouldn't say the problem, the less, the reason this is a less ideal bullish engulfing pattern, look at the size of the red, uh, green candle compared to the red candle. Are the bulls really taking over from here? Not really. So yes, while this is a bullish engulfing pattern, I wouldn't be too excited about it as a potential bond reversal. A little positive is we have some long lower shadows, which shows demand is coming in around 19,000. Uh, but we also have some selling pressure, see, over here. Now this is a high wave candle, long upper and long lower shadows. And that tells us the market is a little bit confused. So it does marginally improve the down, uh, short term picture from down it's a little bit more neutral, not quite bullish yet. Uh, and I'll look at a weekly chart, but to show you where there's one of my favorite candle signals, this window, there's a falling window. And in Western technicals, uh, a gap, this is the same as a gap. In Western technicals, gaps don't mean anything as far as support or resistance. But with candles, a falling window is resistance. And look at that. So in spite of the sharp rally we had last week, look where it stopped right at first resistance. And look at this. 
right over here, another falling window. And that whole window is a resistance area with the major resistance right over here. So on any rallies, you know, for those of you who want to use rallies to maybe lighten up a little bit, uh, this is potential resistance here and the zone is over here. Now let me go to a weekly chart on the Dow. Get rid of these. Actually, I'll wind up going to a monthly. Okay, so it's weekly and let me go to a monthly chart, tell you something interesting. So this was a prior resistance area. One of my favorite Western signals uh, is called change of polarity. And that's where old resistance, once broken, becomes new support. So again, there's a monthly chart that's going back to 2015 and 16. And while it's a long time ago, uh, you know, normally I like to change the polarity a little closer to current action. What I noticed is that, and you could ignore the moving averages on here. On this one, I, I just look at the 20 to 50 day moving averages, a monthly chart. So on those longer term charts, I don't use a 20 um, a month and a 50 month, I don't use those. So uh, anyway, look at this, so all the resistance, the market got above it right over here okay and this old resistance has so far become support okay this is a monthly chart so that means uh on a monthly close i.e the last day of the month uh the 18750 is a potential support area but this i think is one of the reasons why the market is tending to hold support okay that was the the dow let's look at the composite then we'll look at and I, I like the s p better because i think it's a broader index okay so here uh also on the nasdaq uh the long term trend is down short term trend is also down but the market is trying to build a little bit of a base here now here the market closed ever so slightly above the falling window but certainly not enough of a close to say that window's resistance was broken so I'm still defining this falling window, maybe give it a little bit more to the high of this session. And that is 78.75 as a potential next resistance area. And then like the, the Dow, notice this falling window here. Notice how nicely that worked. Uh, okay, and that, again, this is the composite. So it's a low here, right around 83.75 as next potential resistance. And let me show you something interesting on the weekly chart. And one of the questions I get a lot of my seminars and our advisory services, you know, when, when I do my market outlook or Sil or Paul uh, do our market outlooks in my candlecharts.com or special occasions like this, we say how far a question is, how far back do you go to find support resistance? We go back as far as necessary. So with that in mind, what I'm looking at is a weekly chart. And let me show you something interesting. Okay, this is a weekly chart of the composite. And, you know, we're gonna look at a key indicator. Now, uh, right now, the market is under the support area. And actually, make, let me make this low here, okay. So what happens is potentially all the buyers here from March, all the buyers here from June, all the buyers here from last week, uh, now that the market is under it, all the buyers in this zone here, uh, and this is more a more classic bullish engulfing pattern. See how big this green candle is? It, it completely, you know, it, uh, a long red candle, which shows the bears are strongly in control, and then a long green candle, which shows the bulls took control. This is a more classic bullish engulfing pattern, and you can see what happened after. But anyway, so the buyers right around the 7,300 area are now all losing money. So they may, uh, when the market rallies into the zone here, right around 7,300, the buyers here who are losing money down here as the market rallies, they may decide to become sellers, uh, you know, to break even from buying over here. What this means is any close, in my opinion, weekly close, i.e. a Friday close above 70, let's, let's make it above today, uh, this week's high to be safe, uh, above 7,400, would be a potentially positive indicator, it would be called a crack and snap, because it shows the new lows could not hold. And with a crack and snap, it could be a short-term positive. So keep an eye on a weekly close uh, above 7,400. It doesn't preclude the possibility, obviously the market's gonna come down again, but that would show at least 
uh, that the markets were unable to hold the new lows, and that could be a short-term positive. Uh, so keep an eye on that on the uh, composite. Okay, let's go to the S&P. Okay, daily S&P, short-term trend down, long-term trend down, 20-day below the 50-day. They're also sloping down. The 20-day is sloping down, as is the 50-day. And again, a great indication of why our, you know, clients use candles to get those early reversals. So here we had a falling window. Okay, first sign of a top, a rounding top, and then a gap lower. By the time the 20 day crossed below the 50 day, so I get a vertical line here. Okay, the market was at 3000. We got our signal with a falling window. Even if you waited for the close of the session, right around 32, 50, 32, 30, so hundreds of points earlier. And that's why candles are great for giving you those early reversals ahead of traditional lesson technicals. Uh, but not surprisingly, okay, let me make sure the sound is working. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, not surprisingly, the falling windows acted very nicely as resistance. Yes, we got above it, but not a decisive close above it. So 2700 is still my first resistance area, and then a falling window over here around 2900. Again, let's go to the longer term chart. Let me show you what I'm looking at. And we'll go to a, okay, a monthly chart. Actually, let me go to a daily, a weekly chart, and I'll just kind of compress it so we get a little better sense. All right. So what I'm looking at as a key level is the lows from December of 18. All right, December of 18, right around 23.50, based on a close. Now the market got under it, it held it. And let me show you something really interesting. Oh, uh, for those who came in a little bit late, my moving averages are 20 day and a 50 day moving average. So when I look at a daily chart, the crossover was here. That's when the longer term trend turned down. We got an earlier indication with the falling window. I do have those moving averages on the weekly chart, but I really don't follow a 20 week and a 50 week. So on the weekly chart, uh, you could ignore those. And good question, Bruce. These are simple moving averages. I should have mentioned that before. Simple moving averages for simple people like me. Uh, but let me show you something really interesting. And this is why I like small windows. And sometimes they're a little hard to see. But okay, look at this. You see where the arrow is all the way on the left back in April of 17? And let me draw a line there, the bottom of the window. Okay, that's what held in December of 18. Okay. And you can see it held over here right after the market formed the rising window is successfully defended a few weeks later. Again, we're looking at a weekly chart. Uh, and so here, this is not a piercing pattern because the green candle didn't get more than halfway into the, uh, the red candle. But by this session, it, you know, you'd then, move, you'd then moved into the uh, middle of the, the red candle. But nonetheless, a key level to look out for by Friday's close today, uh, by Friday's close this week, 2350. A close above that on the cash S&P would show the bears could not hold control of the market. And again, that could be a short-term positive. And again, when you know, when I'm telling you to buy or sell, I'm just giving you some key levels, some resistance levels, support levels, and so forth. Uh, let's look at a currency. Okay, I want to do kind of you know broad spectrum of markets. Okay, uh, let me go. Short-term trend is down, and again, there's a problem with the weekly with the moving averages. Look at this. This shows the moving average, the 20s above the 50. So in theory, the long-term trend is up, and the reason crossed above, this is a called the golden cross, where short-term moving average crosses above the long-term moving average. Remember, if it crosses under it, like here, it's called the dead cross. It's not called the death cross. I've seen in the pay, uh, in some papers, the, the death cross, it's it's called a dead cross, not a death cross. Doesn't matter though. Uh, but the, so it crossed under here and the trend stayed down and look at how long the rally took 
before you got that bullish crossover. And by the time you got the crossover, the moving average, look what the market did. So again, the beauty of candles and the beauty of education with us is you're going to get an early reversal signal. Here you have the cross, the uh, the bullish cross over here. What was the first signal here that the market was potentially changing? What do we have here? The green wrapping around, right, right, Scott, and. Uh, everybody else. And this is a nice, when I say nice, a, a more classic act on bullish engulfing pattern. Look at the multiple size of the green candle compared to the red. And what else was this also confirming? If you had a bar chart, wouldn't this be a support area? So now you have a classic Western support area, plus you had the early reversal signal. Look at this long-term trend in the Western signal was down, but now you're getting a bottom reversal. So maybe you wouldn't want to go against the long-term trend and go long, but at least you would be covering shorts here. And we know a lot of you are, for those who trade Forex, it's as easy to sell short as to go long. So many of you might have been short here from this dark cloud cover, and this would have been a great place to cover. This also would have been great for a uh, initializing a long trade, because let's think about the risk reward. If you bought in the close here, your stop is under here, and my target would be the most recent high which would be up here. So even from the long side, it would have been a great risk reward. But anyway, uh, so what I'm looking at now, let me give you resistance first of all, because I talked about a prior support area. This prior resistance area, a uh, support area, anybody who bought early this year, maybe even uh, you know earlier uh, this week over here is now losing money. So change of polarity, old support potentially becomes resistance. So for those who are uh, looking for a potential resistance area, I would say this zone here around 108 in that area. And then above that, so you need at least two or three areas. Let me get rid of this stuff here. So I'm showing you. So here we had a support area, one, two, three sessions. So the next potential resistance, as it was confirmed here, is its prior support area. See, once the market broke under it, look what became resistance. So first potential resistance around 108 in the Euro US, and then above that, a couple of hundred pips higher, maybe about 110.60, 110 110.70, something like that. Okay, we'll look at uh, crude. Okay, long-term trend is down. A huge falling with window as potential resistance. Okay, so that works its way all the way from about 34 to 42. And with a falling window, the most important part of the falling window is the top of the falling window. Okay, we saw that. I'll show you. We'll go back to the, yeah, like here's the SP. I'll, I'll go turn it back to crude in a second, but you see the top of the falling window here. Okay, the top of the falling window here. Oops. So the whole window is resistance, and it might stop within the window, but the key resistance is at the top of the falling window. So let me go back to the crude, and I look at a nearby continuation contract on crude. So all trends are down, um, and my first resistance area, and you can see how often I use change of polarity. See, support, 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 broke under it, magic. Look what became resistance. So my first resistance area 30, and, and the reason a lot of these technical indicators work is because of sound psychology behind it. Like I said before, any buyer, anybody bought here or here or here, once the market broke under it saying, uh oh, I bought a 30, the market's down at 29. Uh, during the session, it gets to 27. Uh, I'll be thrilled if it gets back up to 30, I'm just gonna get out and break even. So that prior support becomes resistance. So that's my first resistance area. And let me go back to a long-term chart, and I'll show you why um, the $25 area is so important. Okay, so here again, it's a monthly chart, so we, you know, we're looking at maybe another week or so. But keep an eye on the lows here. Once again, there's a nearby continuation. Uh, it's a monthly chart, and the lows here were right around $26. This is a uh, like a uh, uh, a hammer, but it's a doji instead. OK, 
Okay. And so this, uh, this is also a bullish engulfing pattern. It's okay for a green candle wrap around the doji. And look at those long lower shadows showing strong demand. So on a monthly close, look at 25 and a half as key support. And if you want longer term major resistance, okay, it's quite a ways from here, but you know, this market has had some big moves. Change of polarity, support, 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 right around 42. Now the daily chart, obviously, you know, we had that first resistance area here, right around 30. But interestingly, look at this falling window here. The top of the falling window is right around 42 also, right over here. And if we go to the monthly chart, the change of polarity is also right around 42. So if this market has a strong crude, has a strong rebound, uh, then we could be, uh, you know, looking at key resistance at 42. But of course, we have, as I mentioned, potential and all the support and resistance areas, obviously, are potential support or uh, resistance. So let me now just uh, turn it over to Paul, and then I'm going to show you how I uh, traded with the market in back in 2008 and 2009. And just to make it clear that you're not gonna always pick the top and the bottom, but you're gonna get an early when the market turns and it will turn. So Paul, I'll turn it over to you now to discuss some ideas and then I'll be back on to show you what I did in 2008 and nine to give you some ideas, maybe how you can apply those techniques in your own trading and investing. Over to you, Paul. Thanks, Steve. Uh, and as always, I'm writing down those key levels to look for myself. Uh, always great to hear your your analysis. So I hope uh, everybody here live wrote those down and everybody watching via recording will too. Uh, so hold on, because Steve's coming back on, uh, go over that incredible example uh, that he has shown me in the past. And I want everybody here to see that. Before I get into what we're doing to help people, um, understand how to do this for themselves. And that's really critical because, you know, things obviously in today's world are a lot different than they were just a few weeks ago. Before I tell you what the offers are, I just want to tell you just one example of a story that um, I personally uh, spoke to one of our students. It was January 2nd of this year. So January 2nd, 2020. A student, a new student called me and said, hey, you know what, I wish I could go back in time to January 2nd of 2019 and put every dollar I had into the market because look how great the market did in the year 2019. So he called me up and said, what do you think about just dumping every dollar I have literally into the S&P 500, you know, into an ETF or whatever it happened to be of what he was looking for in the S&P 500? And I asked him, why? Why would you do that? And he goes, well, I, 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 I'm worried. I fear that I missed out on the entire rally of 2019. So I said to him, you know, I would love for you to have knowledge, the confidence level that Steve Nissen has in order to be able to identify times to get in and times to get out of markets. So what he wound up doing was he wound up buying our mega package, which is a four volume set that will work in any market, any time frame. And what he did was he told me on January 2nd that he was going to use this as a way to actually have reasons to enter and exit the market rather than just chasing the market or, or you know, hoping the market does exactly in 2020 what it did in 2019. Now, obviously we're off to a different start in 2020 than we were in 2019, but he called me back a few weeks later, so towards the end of January, and he told me that he had made his first trade. It was a small trade. This is after he followed through the entire mega package. He made a small trade. He got in and he got out. He took a profit. He knew based on support and resistance and some of the basic fundamentals that Steve teaches in the mega package, he knew not to enter long positions in the S&P 500 the way he was going to. So purpose of the story, the, per the person who called me on January 2nd of this year wishing he could go back in time to 2019, the beginning of 2019, put all his money into the market so he could have had that fantastic return that everybody could have had in 2019. He used the time 
a little bit of resources on his end to invest in himself, get the mega package and understand what he could have done for himself. Here he is now making a couple of trades and he actually has profited in this down market using some inverse ETFs. He has reached out and he has also now become a member of my candle charts. So I don't want to take up too much time. I know you're here to listen to Steve talk. Let me tell you real quick on this page. The, the page is titled candlecharts.com slash thrive. It's right there in the red on the side of the screen and Steve's uh, circling it with his mouse. The reason why we want to focus on that is you can thrive in any market condition if you have the education and the confidence to do so. The tools that we've put together on this page are designed to provide you with that knowledge, the education, the guidance, and the confidence to make wise decisions in the market. Not emotional decisions, not because your neighbor made good money last year, it's because you are making wise decisions good decisions for yourself. So let's look at the page. Uh, the first offer is daily guidance from our team. That's through mycandlecharts.com. What we're offering here is for you to be able to sign up for your first month for just $99. Let me try to explain this to you. Every single day, and if you click on that learn more now button, you won't be able to click on the screen, but if you go to that link at candlecharts.com slash thrive, you'll be able to see this. Inside of my candlecharts.com, every single day, Monday through Friday, we do a daily market recap where Steve and our two Nissing certified trainers will do major markets similar to what Steve just did on the S&P, Dow, crude, uh, the euro, things of that nature. We will do that every single day, Monday through Friday, twice right. a week. We do strategy sessions where you get to request markets of your choice to be analyzed. We have chart challenges. We have uh, daily trade setup videos for things for you to be looking at. We have chart of the day videos. We have a session every week specifically for Forex. We have a session every week specifically for trading options. So what we're offering there in that first offer is to be able to utilize my candle charts for an entire month for just $99. Could you imagine if you could go back a month into the middle of February and have the daily guidance that we provided then, wouldn't it have benefited you now? So for just $99, you can sign up for that first month. The great thing about that offer, you could cancel it anytime you won't be billed again. If you want to continue, you would continue on our monthly plan or you could upgrade to our annual plan. And here's a great thing. If you upgrade to the annual plan inside of that first month, let's say you're there and you're saying, man, this is fantastic. I wish I've had this longer. You can upgrade to our annual plan and we would even credit that $99 that you paid for this first month towards the annual plan. Okay, so that's offer number one. If you click on that learn more now button, you'll see everything that comes with my candle charts. But my goodness, if you could go back just this month, if you took advantage of it a month ago, you would have potentially done really well in the market in the last month. Item number two, the Candlestick Express class. This is for people that want to get going, create that strong foundation in candles. This is an educational course. It's three and a half hours. It's all done online. We don't ship you anything. Nothing we're talking about tonight is shipped. You don't have to wait by your mailbox. You don't have to wait for the mailman to come or the FedEx guy or the UPS guy. This is all done online, everything that we're talking about here tonight. This is a course that takes three and a half hours. At the end of it, we actually have a test for you to take to ensure you understood everything. The same education. This is for people that would say, hey, I want to get the education. I want to get going now. It's quick. That's why we call it the express class. Again, no coupon code needed for that. Just $99. You could buy it now. You could watch it immediately. Let's go on to that third item. I mentioned that phone call that I received on January 2nd. The person purchased the mega package. We are offering you the mega package at a significant discount. This is for people that say, I want to do this the rest of my life. I want to do this. I want to benefit myself, my family, everybody I know by being able to look at charts in any market in any time frame. It is a four volume set. It will provide you from beginning all the way up to expert level. We provide ongoing education with what we call Nissing University. Again, you'll learn everything that you want from the Learn More Now button. We are even now, we've not done this before, we're offering not only a discount, 
to pay in full, but we're also offering a two payment plan. So you could start now, 30 days from now, you pay the second half. It is streaming video format, okay? Meaning, again, nothing shipped. All you need is an internet enabled device and the internet, period. Okay, it seems like the entire world now is working on the internet. So I'm assuming, obviously, if you're here now uh, watching this webinar, you have the internet, you have a device to be able to watch it. The mega package can be viewed on tablets, phones, computers. Uh, we know we have people that attach their iPad to a TV so they can watch it on a big screen. Again, mega package, take a look. We have a significant discount, again, a pay in full price as well as a two payment plan if you want to split it up into two payments again no coupon code needed for that we already discounted it by going to that page let me talk about this fourth item we know i know i see names in this room right now of people that are already members of my candle charts or have the express or already have the mega package but they want to take that next step they want our nissan candle scanning software for example or they want education on how to trade forex with candles or how to trade options with candles or any other special topic or other pre-recorded seminars that steve has given on how to benefit in the markets we're giving you a 30 percent off coupon code the coupon code is right there thrive we want everyone here to thrive by doing that you would be able to go into the library at candlecharksacademy.com. When you check out, uh, you just type in that coupon code THRIVE and you'll save 30% off of any item. Now, that last uh, box there, the customize your training experience. We have a lot of different programs. That does not mean you need to have every one of them. Certainly not. We have a lot of them because we have a lot of different types of traders. We have intraday traders, we have swing traders, we have option, forex, you name it, we've got them. For the people that are confused, they don't know exactly what they want to do. If you scroll down on that page, and see if you could just scroll down, I don't know if you can or not, um, or even if not, you wouldn't, okay, no problem. You would be able to fill out a short form, tell me just a little bit about yourself, and then I would be able to do a consultation with you, be able to make a recommendation as to what the right programs would be for you. Now, I've done this for hundreds, if not thousand people so far that have taken advantage of those consultations. I know what has worked best for our students because I get feedback. I get people telling me uh, what works, what they need more of, what they need less of. So the, the chart, I know I'm going to get you right back to Steve. He's uh, going to show you another couple of great things. The link is candlecharts.com slash thrive. But the offers that we're providing for you, whether it's that My Candle Charts month, the Express class, the Mega Package, or 30% off on any other product, we are here to help you thrive. If you have any questions, you'd always email me, paul at candlecharts.com. Uh, if you want to be able to speak, you could just send me an email with a phone number and we can figure out a time to uh, get on the phone and, and talk it out. We're here to assist you. Steve has been doing this for decades and I'm here to be able to work with you knowing what has helped people in the past. So I'll be here to answer questions. I'm gonna hand this back to Steve because I know all of you are here to listen to Steve and then I will be around answering questions for you. Steve, I'm gonna hand it to you. Thanks. Thanks, Paul. Yeah, and I've, I've been through markets like this. I was in the 1929 crash. No, just kidding. Uh, but I remember 87 when the market fell 25% in a day or two, uh, you know, obviously 2008, 2000. So uh, it, it's scary. And, you know, now we have other issues, you know, the, the medical issues, but the market always comes back. And uh, there are always some great opportunities. And let me show you, speaking of opportunities, let me show you personally what I did back in 2008 and 2009 um, and some of you may have seen this i think we sent out a, a special uh, a spotlight something like that but let me show you uh, for those who missed it or don't remember so this is a weekly chart of the cash s p and this is just this is about back in 2008 and two, here's 2008 and 2009 and so what i did here and i'm gonna i'm gonna zoom in on this, this is a weekly but i want to give you a sense of how the education helped me save a lot of money. Uh, I liquidated my portfolio here, my equity portfolio, and I entered the market back here in March of 2009. And the idea is not to show you how 
great I am because, you know, not everything I do works out so well. But just to show you how education can help you uh, not only make money, but potentially save money. So here's the, uh, the Dow back in 2008. You can see May 2008. And the first sign I got of a problem was the bearish engulfing pattern, not a major bearish engulfing pattern because the black. Back then, I just, for whatever reason, I did black and white instead of uh, green and red, which I, which I, I, I do now. Uh, but a bearish engulfing pattern. And one of the things that you could do with many of the candle signals, for those of you who are familiar with the education, uh, is make it as a potential support resistance area. So what was interesting is look what confirmed resistance. Anybody recognize this, even though it's a white candle? Long upper shadow, twice the height of the real body. It's a shooting star, right? So now we're getting uh, problems with the shooting star. But let me go back here. But you know, this is not enough of a reason to go short because well, you can't see it here, but there was a tremendous rally into 2008. So, you know, trying to top pick very, very dangerous. And what I do for my longer term investments, I don't mind giving up a few dollars on the uh, when I get in or out of the investment. Uh, I'd rather have the trend confirmed. And let me show you what I mean by that. So here we had a bearish engulfing pattern, a shooting star. But where was potential support? Okay, that's the shooting star. And that's another bearish engulfing pattern over here. See, and this was a little bit more ominous because look at the size of the black real body compared to the white real body. But one of the things we always have to think about is risk reward. So if I got out here, and when I say get out, got out, you know, my equity portfolio, portion of my portfolio out over here, isn't it, isn't it possible that the market would hold support here? See the support, 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 support. So what I wanted, to happen is have the market break support. And once it did that, once the support was broken, okay, let me, uh, let me see if I can do this here. Let me, okay, so let's get rid of all this here. Okay, and I'll, I'll put it back on. And we do animation. Okay, isn't PowerPoint wonderful? Okay, so, okay. Oops. Once the support was broken, what should become resistance? Right, the prior support level, right? Oops. And get rid of the box here, whoops. Sorry. Okay, so this prior support should become resistance. Look what happened here, right? So the theory was confirmed and over here where we had a doji at the second test of resistance, resistance was confirmed, resistance was confirmed. The doji was telling me the short-term trend was now losing momentum right at resistance. So this is where I exited my equity portfolio. What would tell me, yeah, I'd be paying more in commissions, but what would tell me I was wrong? Say, if I exited here, what would the market have to get above to say, hey, I was wrong about being out of my equity position? Above here. Right, right, Wendy, 12,750, right. There's always a price that says we're wrong. So yes, I didn't get out of the highs here, but I'm not looking to do that. I don't mind giving up what over here. I don't mind giving up, uh, you know, from 13, 250, 7, uh, 750 if I did the math right. But I have the trend in my direction, especially for a longer term uh, investment strategy. Now, the market kept on going down, no real bottom reversal signals. And so let me show you here. Market keeps on going down, down, down. Now, we had, this was in March of 2009. And notice my note here i entered the market here i didn't enter down here and again to show you how at least personally i'm willing to give up a little bit to get the odds more in my favor this is a morning star variation a morning star is when you have a red candle or a black real body a doji or any sort of small real body ideally that doesn't touch 
the first red candle, and it's normally one small real body, and then the green candle or white candle that gets deeply into the red. There's a morning star variation because it's two small real bodies. I like this better because you're now expanding on the base, but why wouldn't I be buying it here? Although we have this potential bottoming signal. What's this green arrow over here? And I know, yep, I know, I, I know who would be getting this, right? Stephen, Wendy, and uh, many others, yes. The falling window, and look, the falling window was confirmed. So it was, there was a falling window that the market had to close above. And let me ask you this also, what else do you see around the 740 level? And you may have to go back to November and, and over here, What's one of, what strategy do I look at a lot? Right, change of polarity. See, support, 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 market breaks under it. So even if it closed above the falling window, would that be good enough to think about, you know, stepping into the long side again for my equity portfolio? No, this is when I did it. Yeah, the market closed above it here, but I wanted that extra confirmation. So here again, I didn't get in at the lows. I got in above it, but I was going in the direction of the trend. The risk to me would be the stock, you know, I'd be getting out again. I'd you know, be losing some uh, money in my equity portfolio if it got back under 660. There's always a price that says I'm wrong. So essentially, let me go back here. By liquidating the portfolio here and getting in again, you know, it happened to be a weekly chart that was a bullish engulfing pattern, but again, uh, and closed above the window, but I showed you based on the daily while I got in, I was able to save a 50% decline. Now, for those who didn't have to take money out of the market back in 2008 and 2009, the market does come back. But for those who had to liquidate the positions on the way down, and what essentially happened is they lost 50% of their money. They had 50% less to uh, to have when the market came back in. So yes, you fall 50%, but you have to rally all the way back, you know, again, to get you back to even. So we had lots of warning signals with the candles. We used the change of polarity, confirmed a resistance area. Same thing here, change of polarity, morning star. These are all educational aspects that we teach you and much, much more in the education that Paul uh, discussed. And we got this wonderful uh, comment just a few days ago from Barbara. I wanted to uh, say thank you for all your advice. With everything happening in the markets right now, what I learned from you helped me recognize the signals and sell early with gains. And that is so important because while it's great to talk about profits, uh, you know, getting in at the lows, it's equally important to know when to get out, risk management. Uh, your sessions were one of the best investments I made last year. Thank you. So I want to thank you for attending this uh, special webcast. I know you, you have your minds on other things, but look, uh, a lot of us are going to be home now and we're going to have time for education and may as well take advantage of the time to help you prepare for you know opportunities that will uh, come our way. So with that, I'll turn it over to Paul just to wrap it up. And thank you for joining me and I look forward to working with you down the road. Thank you, Steve. Um, just a, a few things. Uh, I just got a couple of questions and then I have time for like a question or two if anybody has to type those in. Um, somebody asked how quickly can they receive the information? Everything here again is instantaneous. You make the purchase, you make the payment, you have access. Um, we have people stand by to make sure that when an order comes through, your your accounts are all set up and, and ready to go so my candle charts as an example if you became a member right now you would be able to watch a recording of today's recap today's strategy session you would be able to uh, log in for tomorrow morning's uh, trade setup of the day video chart of the day and then again watch tomorrow's daily market recap as well as all of the other features that are available so uh, that's just a small investment uh and like steve said most people at least a lot of people i know a lot of people steve knows will be working from home uh, if they aren't already 
So all of those uh, items are uh, online, instantaneous. You could watch them from tablets, computers, phones, you name it. Uh, one of the other questions I got was, can I sign up for my candle charts and get the mega package? Absolutely. What a fantastic way to go, because with the mega package, you're going to get the education. You're going to be able to do it on your own. And then on top of that, you have our team of professionals between Steve, Brian and Sill, who are two Nissan certified trainers, provide daily ongoing guidance. Obviously, the markets are not done being choppy. Uh, the volatility index will, my opinion, at least not go low tomorrow and stay low. Things are not done. We have a little ways to go to get through this whole public health scare. So having the education and the guidance, as well as 30% off on other products. So if you already have a membership, I know we have people here, if you already have the mega package and you wanna take that next step, you wanna go for more, you wanna become a true guru, a master, we have other training and products. If you're not sure which is right for you, you could fill out that form on that page at candlecharts.com slash thrive and be able to fill out the form. And I'd be happy to get back to you uh, talking about how we can assist you in you thriving in this and any market. So Steve, I wanna thank you so much for taking the time out. Uh, and for everybody here, I encourage you to go to candlecharts.com slash thrive. I encourage you and your families to stay safe and healthy, wash your hands, do everything else that everyone's talking about doing the right things, but truly understand, and I, and I truly believe this, we are going to get through this, hopefully sooner rather than later. And it's the people that are prepared, it's the people that are ready that will take those next steps to be able to take advantage of what I, look at and I know Steve looks at as market opportunities um, the educated will be the ones that profit and benefit in these markets anyone could have made money in 2019 when the markets just basically went up everyone thought they were market guru in 2019 it's those that have the education guidance confidence to be able to handle what's going on right now and what is going to continue to go on for however long so again, uh, check us out at candlecharts.com slash thrive. I'd be more than happy to help out anybody who has questions. You could always email me. And again, uh, wishing everyone here the best health uh, for you, your family, everyone you know, to get through this trying time and to take best advantage of what we have to offer here. Um, we want you to take advantage we are not putting a exact time frame on this as far as when these offers are going to be done. They will be down in the next couple of days. We want to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to watch this recording. Uh, so we are going to get this out uh, tomorrow morning, I believe. We want to give people over the weekend, but I, I, th these are not unlimited time offers. They can come down at any point. Okay, so I want to tell you we do not have an exact time frame. We want to make sure everybody has the opportunity to be able to watch this recording, not listen to me, but listen to Steve's guidance and education. And then obviously take full advantage, become part of the Candle Charts family um, and take the next steps. If you have any other questions, I'm here. Uh, I'm going to turn off the recording so that uh, in case anybody does have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer those. Thank you so much.